The 2014 softball season has just flown by. It's hard to believe, but it is Gulf South Conference tournament time. Welcome to Coleman, Alabama and Heritage Park. I'm Katie Smith for GoStatesman.com. The Lady Statesman softball team enters the tournament as the five seed and thus plays probably the hardest game, starting off with four seed West Florida. Let's check out these highlights. The Argonauts are the Team Delta finished up the regular season with barely a week before, so the Lady Statesmen know exactly what they're getting into, and they get into it quick. Top of the second inning, Andrea Cutts drives the ball into right center field. Taylor Holland crosses home plate, and Delta State goes up 1-0. Bottom of that inning is 3-up, three 3-down three for West Florida. After two ground outs, Miller Maddox sits that third batter down. Top three with a runner waiting on third. Caitlin Moore sends a shot over the center fielder's head. She gets a double out of that. Cassidy Talley scores, making it 2-0 DSU. Amber Agcock follows that with a high flying ball that goes over that white fence. Two run homer for Adcock and the Lady Statesmen extend the lead to 4-0. Fourth inning now, Moore and Adcock drive in more runs, so DSU now has a 7-0 lead. Holland adds to that when she gets on first after an error and Adcock crosses home plate. It's 8-0 Lady Statesman and an impressive first win for Delta State has opponents quivering a bit. Cuts also hits a two-run homer in this one and the Lady Statesman down West Florida 17-0 in five innings. It's hard to respond from, you know, having so many hits and so many runs, 19 hits, 17 runs, um, you know, and, and I really, I told them I, I didn't believe it was a fluke. I thought we were going to play good all weekend, you know. I think um, I think this team knows how to play in tournaments. I, I just I just really believe we we're going to do well in this tournament, and I still believe that now. So if there's any time to just have a huge breakout game, tournament time is it. And the Lady Statesmen beat West Florida 17-0. That puts them up against number one Alabama Huntsville in the second game of day one. More highlights for you. UAH shut out eight seed Christian Brothers in the first game 8-0 before meeting the Lady Statesmen on the diamond. Chargers get the bats going quickly after two innings. Delta State is down 6-0. Here in the third, DSU gets on the scoreboard when Caitlin Moore hits a sacrifice fly, but that gives Memory Corley enough time to tag up and score. It's 6-1. Lady Statesmen again in the fifth. Cassidy Talley slap gets through the infield. Andrea Cutts crosses home plate. But that's all Delta State can do. Alabama Huntsville sends DSU to the loser's bracket with an 8-2 loss. UAH is a good team. They're in the top in the nation, top in the region, top in the conference. So what's the difference? I don't know. We didn't hit the ball the way we did. But they, uh, they, they took advantage of a couple early mistakes, and they went up early, and it's kind of a big um, deflator, really. So um, we just didn't swing the bats well. So unfortunately, game two against top seed UAH is a loss for the Lady Statesmen 8-2. But Delta State has been in this position before the last two years. The Lady Statesmen came out of the loser's bracket to play in the championship game. We'll see if Delta State can get towards that again in day two. In Coleman, Alabama, I'm Katie Smith for GoStatesmen.com.